Hey everybody, this is Jesse here from Project Nerd with Mrs. Katrina Law. Hello. <laughs> Most notably from Arrow. And a few years ago, you might remember her from Spartacus, Blood and Sand. So right now, she plays Nisa Al Ghul, who is one of Ra's Al Ghul's daughters. The best one. The best one. The better daughter. Very clearly. Yeah. For inspiration to play this character, um, who, who do you think of? Is there any particular like character from another piece of fiction you enjoy or a novel you read that you might draw inspiration? Are you the woman Robin Hood mixed with a ninja? Well, I mean, personally, in my own life, I'm a badass. So I just go with that from the core, and I just like really summon my badass moments. So like and a female Robert Downey Jr., you're drawing from real life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's I mean, really there's like no acting, really. Wow, that's At all. powerful. Yeah, it's, it's you know. You don't meet real, it's not method acting when it's life. Yeah, it's just reality. It's, oh, it's like a reality show, actually. I feel really yeah. honored to be next to you right now. You should. <sighs> I feel really, really Can you really honored. shoot that arrow? I can. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Did you go through training? That's actually something I was interested in. Um, just so I actually didn't train for arrow because they won't actually let you shoot live arrows because it's a compound bow and something about like not wanting people to die. Yeah, I don't know. So conservative. The, I swear the light guy is expendable, but I don't pay yeah, the bills. Yeah, yeah. But on uh, Spartacus, they were like, yeah, shoot, whatever. And if you hit the camera guy or the camera, we'll give you $5. And I <laughs> never got my money. So, yeah, I did train for Spartacus. Wonderful. Yeah. So I, was, I saw a lot of the pictures and you're holding it appropriately, which is... Well, kind of why I assumed that you had some experience with that. Well, we do have an onset arrow, uh, bow and arrow expert, and she lovely. is lovely. And she is there constantly being like, pinky down, elbow down, head up, blah, blah, blah. like all these different, perfect. yeah. So we have somebody kind of watching us every like a hawk. What's the filming schedule like? Do you live um, in LA? I personally live in LA. Uh, Arrow shoots in Vancouver. Mm. So the uh, main cast is up in Vancouver for about 10 months out of the year. And for people like me who just kind of come on and off the show, wherever we're from, I mean, there are some people that are from Japan and wow. China and um, different places. So they just fly us in and out whenever they need us. Are you there for two days, three days, a week sometimes? Um, it depends. Some mm -hmm. there, I've been there for half a day before, and other times I've been there for a month and a half straight. Wow. So it just kind of depends what's happening with the episode or episodes. I heard you've just always been like a really outgoing child and your parents have been supporting of like finding an outlet for that energy. When did that kind of um, culminate in acting? Uh, I was always, a, I grew up a dancer and singing and playing sports and I did a little bit of Taekwondo and mm. mainly it was because I was super hyperactive. My mom was just like, no, you need you yep. need to do something. So she threw me into as many physical activities as possible. Absolutely. And then in the middle of college, because I went to school for marine biology and that Ooh. was my major. And about one year in, I got cast as Cassie on the course line. And from there, I was just like, no, this is my dream. I love it. I love mm -hmm. acting. It's the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. And from there, I kind of switched over my major to theater that makes a lot of sense after you're at or if you're in theater at all or you're singing mm -hmm. or you're doing ballet or not ballet dancing What'd yeah ballet and, dancing ballet and, and dancing modern and that's yeah. all one of those th those are outlets that bring out your kind of uh exterior creativity or like uh the, it helps you lose the fear of performing in front of people once you've been dancing for long enough and doing all these other things yeah you know i would say that's partially true um you know because i grew up dancing on a stage i was totally comfortable telling a story through dance and then even singing but when it came to acting and opening my mouth and talking mm -hmm. and speaking lines i was terrified i was absolutely terrified oh, wow. um because you know I, I don't know if you know any dancers but most dancers are very quiet mm -hmm. and because uh, they do all of their communication through body language so learning to speak on stage was um, quite an ordeal that's really <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it because if you're gonna speak with your body predominantly to start with I feel like that's a really strong asset to your acting that a lot of people might not have experience with well it's been an asset to arrow and then also to Spartacus because it is so stunt heavy so mm -hmm. it makes the dance has made learning choreography uh, relatively easy so as long as I'm not jumping off a building or you know jumping off a car or getting hit by a car or something, you know, something crazy. Arrow. Um, <laughs> I know. All those things happen on Arrow. Um, I'm normally pretty good with the, the, the basic choreography of fights. Is, uh, what, what is uh, the extent of your stunt work while you're kind of on Arrow right now? Um, Arrow is really interesting the way they do it um, because it's in Canada and they protect their actors and they're unionized and they have uh, insurance companies. A lot of the actors are not allowed to do 
a lot of their stunts because mm -hmm. something about not wanting them to get hurt and injured and having to cancel the show because we lost an actor. Wow. Again, so conservative. Yeah, so really. <laughs> Come on, Canada. Get, get risky. So, but the great thing is that we have a wonderful stunt coordinator. His name is James Bamford, and he is amazing. And he runs one of the sharpest stunt teams I've ever worked with. Um, Atla Mitchell is my stunt double. Uh, she is also uh, the Canary stunt double and also Black Canary stunt double. Oh. So she's just an all-around great girl. Uh, she's also part of Cirque du Soleil. Well, she used to be. So wow. if there's anybody that's going to do your stunts for you, I'm like, yeah, girl, you do it. And then oh, I'm going to yeah. take credit. Just try not to do it too good. Then it's not going to look like me. You're, yeah. Wow. Well, no. I'm just like, yeah, no, be better. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, that's totally that, me. That that's totally, totally me. I did that all by myself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm going to cut that part out, and we'll just start telling everybody. <laughs> that's her. The level of um, creativity that they can um, have on that show with somebody who's that physically capable is just through the roof. Absolutely. So, you know, James kind of throws whatever choreography at her. and She's like, yeah, I got this. That's amazing. No big deal. When they offered you the role, where, did you audition? I did audition. Ooh. I originally auditioned for The Tomorrow People, and it was for a British character, and I was completely wrong for the part. Uh, You're just not British? Well, not even the British part. It was just that my dad was a very, very white-looking man, and they were like, uh, no. So, <laughs> they're like, you are not his daughter. I'm like, okay. You can't opposite of Spartacus and just, no, that doesn't yeah. work. So then they were like, well, come back the next day and audition for this part of Greta on Arrow. And I was like, okay, sure. So I auditioned for this part of Greta, and the sides are um, with Oliver, and mm -hmm. they're very heavy, flirty, kind of contentious sides. And I'm like, all right, I got this. And they're like, and bring back the accent. I was like, okay, cool. So I auditioned, they're like, that's great, we're gonna have you come back and we're gonna do a chemistry read. And they're like, Ooh. you're gonna do a chemistry read with Katie Lotz. And I was like, uh, okay, cool, so just give me my new sides. They're like, no, 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 same sides. <laughs> and I was like, okay, because these are really flirty sides, do you want me to like pretend more like she's my sister or my friend? They're like, no, 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 just do it exactly the same. <laughs> and I was like, am I a lesbian? And, yeah. they're like, and they're like, we can't tell you that. We can't tell, no. No, can't talk about that. So, uh, yeah, I walk in, Katie was there, and she was awesome. We had good chemistry together, and then I got cast. So That's yes. amazing. Was yeah. Greta like a code name for the characters? They didn't want you to know who it was? Yeah, because one of the things about shows like Arrow, especially mm -hmm. DC Marvel shows or Star Wars, anything that's like yes. super, super fan-based, um, people want to really side so they can kind of mm -hmm. be like, look, I know spoilers and what's coming up. Yep. It's kind of like their favorite yes, thing to do, which just spoils it for everybody it else. It super annoys me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, they just kind of do that to protect themselves and mm -hmm. the storyline. I love it. Your sister, the other Al Ghul, they lied about who she was in that last Batman movie, too. So I totally... Yeah. At least that means they're giving you equal respect. Yeah, about yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Well, she's a little shystier. I feel like I'm more upfront than my sister. I feel like she's a little more like covert operation. I'm just yeah. like, bang, here I am. This is my agenda. I like that. Yeah. Straightforward woman. Yeah. I'm just going to take a guess. Did you maybe not read a lot of Arrow before the show? This is not a judgment call because I haven't Are seen you sure? more episodes. Are you sure? I felt like a little bit of judgment coming from that. No, I like, love I you. I felt like my soul kind of went like, ah. Sometimes it's kind of more honorable <laughs> to develop a character's personality more deeply than possibly And I really like already. how you're covering for this. Like, this is good. This is a good, good cover. No, I'm just being honest. <laughs> because there's a lot of characters that, y y honestly, in the fiction of the comic books, might not have gotten the attention or the respect they deserve. So mm -hmm. you as an actor can a set a new precedent for the future of other writers to make that character better. Well, so my- Especially my going in blind. <laughs> yes, my, my comic book involvement was probably like your average person. Like mm -hmm. I like Batman, I like Superman. I had Batman sheets when I was younger. So it was, it was like in the normal, normal amount. And then when I got cast on Arrow, I have a bunch of friends who are huge comic book geeks and nerds and they love it and they run podcasts. So together we were trying to figure out what character Greta mm. could possibly be and we thought maybe it was Lady Shiva but then TV Guide announced what character I was <laughs> and that's how I found out how I was cast um, and then we were like it? Nissa and it was just really interesting because I know a lot of people like the hardcore ones are just like oh yeah Nissa totally duh you didn't know who Nissa was and I'm just like you didn't know either because everybody only knew about Talia I'm just telling you so all these people were like oh no. Nissa like totally blah 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 and you're like mm-mm that's real talk. I have Stan <laughs> Lee's autograph tattooed on my back, and I've been reading comic books since I was in diapers, and I didn't know who that character was. Okay, thank so you don't for being lie. honest about that. But no, the great thing was is that as soon as they found out who she was, 
they went back and did research on comics. They gave me the whole background history about Nissa, her relationship with her father, all the background about Rachel Ghoul, the my whole history of Talia and her story. So I did a lot of research because I That's feel like awesome. especially with such a hardcore fan base in the DC world or any comic book world, I feel like it would have been disrespectful to come in and not know anything about my character other than I'm just kinda like pulling from my own badassness in real life. Fact. <laughs> Sometimes you can't lie to the people. But no, that's that's wonderful, and honestly, having like a team of nerds who are your nerd eye for the straight girl, like that's that's all you need. You don't need to read thirty comic books if you have four people who love that thing and can boil down the true essence yeah, of that character. They kind of gave me like the cliff note version. That's really important. Yeah, and it was. That's normally what happens when you geek out with the normies is you tell them what is really beautiful and important, so you don't waste their time going like that one time she broke a nail, but it really <laughs> changed the arc of the next four issues. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anything exciting that you're working on? Keep doing Arrow. Maybe looking forward to another thing I don't know about. Um, I do have some more Arrow episodes coming up. I'm not going to tell you when or no what I'm doing or why no I'm worries. there. Of course not. But I'm there. She's just going to be there being a badass. Yeah. Effing stuff up. Yeah. Just, you know, doing my thing. Mm -hmm. But in the complete opposite direction, I do have a Hallmark Christmas movie coming out on Thanksgiving Day um, and it's called 12 Gifts of Christmas and there's no fight scene no punching no blood nobody dies it's a happy ending so. is it hilarious? I don't know that it's hilarious it it's sad? probably more no it's definitely not sad it's okay, a Hallmark cool. Christmas movie you feel good walking out of these things I'm so it's definitely like cute and there's like a sad moment in there mm -hmm. but then it's fine awesome yeah okay I can dig that and so it's coming out on Thanksgiving? on Thanksgiving that's pretty great yep. I was looking up uh, I saw that you have a really interesting history for your acting career. And right now, I'm really excited to see where you're headed for the future because people are starting to kind of take advantage of your strengths. And this, I hope this character really gives you some amazing parts that you're looking forward to. Yes, I hope so too. And this has been great. Arrow's been great for me. Um, it's been a great team to be a part of. And getting to interact with the DC fans has just been phenomenal and kind of hilarious at the same time because they're so rabid and hardcore that I just love their passion. Absolutely. So. That's uh, to wrap up, I guess, while I still have you here, that's something I've noticed that if you haven't come to Comic-Con and you haven't fraternized with a lot of people, Katrina's the nicest lady ever. I watched her have a dance party with like 30 <laughs> cosplayers last night. And that was like... As you do. Yeah, but I just sitting there being like kind to people, giving hugs and high fives and autographs and just talking to all the fans. And I really appreciate you engaging people like just genuinely because a lot of people are nervous to meet you. Yeah. And right before we came <laughs> in here, I saw a fan come up and he's kind of just looking at your stuff and he's really nervous to talk to you. He was really nervous. And you're like, <laughs> it was well, super adorable. Who's your favorite character from Arrow? Like what, what have you been like watching lately? And that's really sweet to me <laughs> because my favorite thing is to come meet people I look up to, whether they're actors or artists or writers. And when you meet that person that you... Even if it's in a, like a different, unique way, it, you're a role model or an idol, and in some way they want to be as brave as you, or maybe be as good at acting as you, or as beautiful as you, or just, there's always something that, they want to meet you because they look up to you. Aww. And when you're nice, and you're sweet, and you're kind, that is something someone remembers forever. They're going to tell their kids to go to Comic-Con, because that, gr that pretty lady from the TV show you watch might be there, and she's going to be really nice to you. I totally pay him to say this stuff. It's just what Comic-Con's all about. <laughs> uh, thank you for all your time. No, thank and you. And just opening up a second about how hard you've been working and what it's like being you at Comic-Con. Yeah, it's, it's a tough life. Yeah. It's a tough life. It's hard. Well, I guess I'll turn the camera <laughs> off and you can go have your whiskey with Robert Downey Jr. And yeah, yeah. fight off all your like hordes of evil minions. But if you guys need anything else or you want to visit Project Nerd for some more awesome content and videos or you miss Katrina... We'll uh, love to see you at the website or on YouTube. And I hope everybody has a lovely rest of their day. Nerd out, my friends.